Good day everyone. Do you still find difficulty in subtracting fractions with regrouping? Watch this video and I'm sure that you will find it very easy. Welcome back to Joy Fernandez Tutorials. Like what I've said, we're going to talk about subtraction of fractions with regrouping. Actually, this is one of the most difficult topics. But if you listen well, you will really, really find it very easy. Okay, so I'll start with the long cut, then the short cut. So we have here a pair of mixed numbers. So step one. Find the least common denominator. If you are not so familiar with the least common denominator, just visit the link above at ituturo niyan sa inyo kung paano mag-solve for the LCD or the least common multiple. So going back, what's the LCD of 2 and 5? It's 10. Good. So, let's change these fractions into their similar forms. 10 divided by 2, 5 times 1 is 5. 10 divided by 5, 2 times 4 is 8. Now, if you observe, the minuend is less than the subtrahen. So, kailangan natin talaga mag-borrow. Okay? okay, so step number 2, we're going to add a whole number which is in fraction form. So, Paano natin gagawin yan? So, gagamitin natin yung denominator. And the denominator is 10. So, this will look like this one. Kasi, this is equivalent to 1 whole. And then, automatically, 8 becomes 7. Next step, add the numerators and then copy the common denominator. 5 plus 10 is 15, and then copy the common denominator, okay? Next, copy now the subtrahend. So, mas mataas na ba yung 15, 10, then 8, 10? Let's also copy the whole numbers, 7, and then 4. We are now ready to... Subtract. So, 15 minus 8 is 7. And then, copy the common denominator. Subtract the whole numbers. 7 minus 4, 3. Simplify if needed. But, can you still simplify 3 and 7 tenths? No more. So, this is now the final answer. We go to another example. 5 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 5 6. Okay? Step 1, find the LCD. What's the LCD of 3 and 6? It is 6. Okay? So 6. And then change the fractions into their similar forms. 6 divided by 3, 2 times 2 is 4. 6 divided by 6, 1, times 5 is 5. Again, the minuend is less than the sutrahen, so we need to borrow. Automatically, this becomes 4. Okay, and then add a whole number in fraction form. Let's use the denominator. Okay, next... Let's add the numerators and copy the common denominator. So, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6. Next, copy the subtrahend. Then, how about the whole numbers? Do not forget. So, this becomes 4 and then 2. We are now ready to subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then, copy the common denominator, which is 6. Next, subtract the whole numbers. 4 minus 2 is 2. 
Can we still simplify 2 and 5 6? Not anymore. So this is now the final answer. Let's now proceed to shortcut. Handa na ba kayo? Okay, ito na. 8 and 3 fourths minus 5 and 9 tenths. This time, let's do it horizontally. Okay? First, find the LCD of 4 and 10. So the LCD is 20. Good. And then, 20 divided by 4, 5 times 3 is 15. Next, 20 divided by 10 is 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, mas paliit na naman yung 15 or yung minuwen kesa sa so, so, subtrahin. So, ang shortcut lang dito ay i-automatic natin alisan ng isa itong 8 so 8 minus 1 is 7 okay watch just add the denominator and the minuend ulitin ko add the denominator and the minuend so 20 plus 15 is now 35 so okay na ba? Can we now subtract without getting a negative number? Yes. So 35 minus 18 is 17. And then copy the denominator. Now subtract the whole numbers. 7 minus 5 is 2. Can you still simplify? Not anymore. So we have now 2 in 17 over 20. Okay, 10 and 1, 6 minus 3 and 3 fourths. First step, find the LCD. So the LCD of 6 and 4 is 12. Then 12 divided by 6, 2 plus 1 is 2. Minus 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. Next, automatic, this becomes 9 because you subtracted 1 from 10. Okay, next, just add the denominator to the middle end. So 12 plus 2 is 14. Okay, next, 14 minus 9 is 5. 12. Don't forget the whole numbers. 9 minus 3 is 6. So we have now 6 and 5 twelve. Are you now ready for an exercise? Try to solve the exercise, pause the video, and uh, compare your answers later on. Please try to do this. 10 and 5, 6 minus 2 and 4, 8. Pause the video for a while and then come back for the solution later. Please try to do this. 10 and 4, 8 minus 2 and 5, 6. Pause the video for a while and come back later for the solution. So welcome back. Are you now ready for the solution? So what's the LCD of 8 and 6? LCD is 24. 24 divided by 8, 3 times 4 is 12. 24 divided by 6, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, next step, borrow 1. And then, add the whole number in the form of a fraction. Next, add the numerators and then copy the common denominator. 12 plus 24 is 36 over 24. And then copy the subtrahend. Minus 20, 24. Okay? And then don't forget the whole numbers. 9 and 2. We are now ready to subtract. 36 minus 20 is 16. Copy the common denominator, which is 24, 
and then 9 minus 2 is 7. Now, can you simplify 7 and 16 24? Yes, okay. So, if you're not still familiar with simplifying fractions, you may visit the link above at dyan yung makikita o dyan ituturo sa inyo kung paano mag-simplify ng fractions. Okay? So, 16 divided by 8 is 2. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So, we have now 7 and 2 thirds. Please do this also for and for 5 minus 2 and 9 tenths using the shortcut method. Or you may post a video for a while and come back later for the solution. Welcome back. Let's now solve. The LCD of 5 and 10 is 10. 10 divided by 5, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 10 divided by 10, 1 times 9 is 9. Okay? And then borrow. This becomes 3. Now, add the denominator and the middle end. So, 10 plus 8 is 18. Next, subtract. 18 minus 9 is 9. 10. Do not forget the whole numbers. 3 minus 2 is 1. Can you simplify? Not anymore. So, this is now the answer. 1 and 9 tenths. So that's it. I hope that you have learned something from me today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Until the next video, bye!